Hello everyone, welcome to Fosun Weekly Update. This video will introduce to you what happened in Fosun last week. On the afternoon of 13th June 2023, it was announced at the China ESG released a grand ceremony that Fosun was successfully listed among China's top 100 ESG listed companies, becoming an ESG leader that ranked fifth overall and first in the composite industry. Fosun always upholds the corporate values of self-improvement, teamwork, performance, and contribution to society. Over the years, it has continued to cultivate in the field of ESG and to advance in the field of public welfare, such as global emergency relief, rural revitalization, health, education, culture and art, and caring for children and adolescents, striving to create happier lives for families worldwide. In an exclusive interview with the China Food and Drug Network, Chen Qi Yu, co-CEO of Fosun International, emphasized the importance of renewal in the path of biopharmaceutical innovation, stating that it is the way forward for Fosun Pharma to thrive in the health industry. Fosun Plaza hosted annual launch of Sing for Hope the Pianos. The music filled this plaza and atrium in Lower Manhattan this week. A diverse array of talent, including choral groups from performing arts schools, an all-female drum marching band from Rwanda, even a Broadway star, came together to support Sing for Hope, an annual public piano program. The global nonprofit started its piano initiative in 2010, making the instruments available in public spaces all over the world. The organization has collaborated with the New York office of Chinese company Fosun since 2015 to unveil new one-of-a-kind pianos created by local city artisans. This year, there are 20 new pieces. An executive with Fosun says seeing the joy the annual event delivers is emotional. It feels great to be able to give something back. People just let their guards down. There's a wonderful healing sense where people just forget all their inhibitions. They come together and express themselves. Forbes Japanese Edition featured an exclusive interview with Club Med President Henry Giscard D'Estaing. Henry stated, Club Med has a strong image as a beach resort, perhaps due to the word Mediterranean in the company name, but it is also a pioneer in family ski resorts. Having opened its first mountain resort in Lessen, Switzerland, in 1956, today 25 out of nearly 70 resorts are mountain destinations. In the interview, Henry highlighted the significance of the Asian market, the support of Fossum, and the vision for future expansion, solidifying Club Med's commitment to the region that its position as the world leader in all exclusive and experiential premium holiday for families and active couples. HAL announced the results of the painting contest in partnership with the AMES Foundation. The collaboration aims to support the AMES Foundation's mission of making animal welfare a profitable and scalable product, thus preserving wildlife, protecting biodiversity, and making Africa a safer place for animals. The interventional cardiology and cardiac imaging teams of Hospital da Luz Lisboa performed the first intervention to repair severe insufficiency of the tricuspid valve through catheterization with the Pascal device. This is an innovative treatment that was launched in 2022 and is rapidly expanding in Europe and the United States. The Pascal system allows repair of the tricuspid valve through ultrasound-guided catheterization without surgery. The Portugal-China Chamber of Commerce and Industry CCILC, hosted a reception in Lisbon with a delegation from the Permanent Secretariat of the Forum Macau, a multilateral Intergovernmental cooperation mechanism aimed at promoting economic and trade exchanges between China and Portuguese speaking countries by using Macau as a connecting platform between the two sides. Well, that's all for this week's update. Click to follow Fosun and get more updates on Fosun every week.